In this video, guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can read multiple different coverages in the game. That's going to include cover two, cover two man, cover three, cover four palms, cover four drop, and man coverage defenses. So without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the video. All right, guys, what's up? My name's Yo Yo. Welcome back to another video today, and we're going to be going over how to read multiple different coverages in the game. We're going to be going over pretty much all of the defensive coverages you guys can run, and I'm going to be telling you guys some tellers that you can use to read better the defense in Madden 21 and use this to your advantage by, a, by a building a play about it, around it, how to beat those different defenses. Now, Guys, what we're going to do is we're going to be working out of a, different, a, a couple different formations today. We're going to be working out of, or actually one formation primarily. It's going to be Big Nick over G. We're going to be working out of that formation today. And the offensive formation we're going to use is going to be Gun Bunch Tight End. And I'm going to be showing you guys how you can read different coverages with Gun Bunch Tight End. So quickly, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to come out in Gun Bunch Tight End. We're going to come out in PA Blue Over. And then we're going to come out on defense in the Cover 2 formation, uh, Cover 2 defense. And I'm going to show you guys how you can read that and how it's different from a Cover 2 man defense. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so here we go. We are in a cover two defense on defense, obviously, and on offense, we're coming out in gun bunch tight end. Now, what we're going to do here, the first big teller is if the is how many safeties are on the field now and how many high safeties are on the field. Now, we see that there are two defensive players on the on the top of the field, right around that 40 yard line. That's going to automatically tell me that this is either a cover two man, a cover two zone defense, or a cover four matching or cover four drop defense. Now, that's going to be an automatic teller because if your opponent is running cover three or cover one defenses, then there will only be one high safety on the top as opposed to two. So that's automatically going to rule out cover three and cover one defenses because there are two players high. Now, uh, the only exception to this is going to be nickel normal, I believe. Both of those guys go high, but there's also some other tellers I'm going to tell you guys real quick. Now, if you're running bunch tight end, this is my main offense that I like to run online. We're going to take a look, first of all, at how the corners are lined up, how the cornerbacks are lined up on this play. So you're going to see here that on the left side, we have one cornerback that is outside of the numbers. So on the left of the 40 and 50 yard line, and we have one player that is inside the numbers on the 40 or 50 yard line. Now, that's automatically going to tell us right here that this is a cover two zone defense. Now, the reason why this is going to tell us, and also too, I'm going to let you guys know how you can tell different defensive formations. So this is a big nickel over G because we do have four down defensive linemen and then one player that runs in the slot. That is automatically going to tell us that this is a cover. This is a big nickel over G defense. Now, you're going to be saying, yo, yo, how do you know that this is a cover two zone defense? Well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be audibly into cover two man, and I'm going to be showing you guys basically how this left side corner is going to line up. I don't know what I, what I just do. All right. So anyway, so I, I might have messed up this play. We're going to run a cover two man defense, though. You're going to see that this left side corner, he sort of came inside a little bit. The left side corner, now he's in the middle of the numbers between the 40 and the 50. So this play right here that I'm marking with the ID, the mic, you see he's in the middle of the 40 and the 50 yard line. That automatically tells me right there that this is going to be a cover two man defense because he's lining up on a little bit more to the, he's like in the middle, I guess, of the far left receiver. He's more inside than he was in a cover two zone defense. And that basically tells me that this is going to be a cover two man defense. Now, what we're going to do also is I'm going to be showing you guys to the cover two defense and how you can also tell it apart from a cover four defense. Now, how you guys can tell this apart is really simple. In a, in a base cover four defense, the players are going to be more backed up, so about 10, 10, 11 yards. Oh, well, in a cover two zone or a cover two man defense, they're backed up about five yards. So you're gonna see that this cornerback is a little bit to the outside of the numbers. However, when I would audible to a cover two man, he lines up in the middle of the 40 and the 50 yard line. So that's automatically gonna tell me that this is a cover two defense. All right, so now guys, that's gonna be how to read a cover two defense and cover two man defense. But now we're gonna be moving on to how to read, how to differ a cover three and a cover one defense. All right, guys, so here we go. We're running a cover three defense. Now, the big teller here is either uh, what coverage it is, is that there is going to be one high safety on the field. You see there's one player on the top side of the field, one safety, that automatically tells me that this is going to be either a cover one or a cover three defense. Now, you also are going to see on the field two, obviously four down defensive linemen, and there's also one slot player. This means this is a big nickel for G defense. But also, we're going to take a look as well 
those two left side corners they're backed up about 10 yards away from the receivers so that's automatically going to tell us this is going to be a cover three defense now what i'm going to do is i'm going to audible to a cover one defense and you're going to see also that the left side cornerback he's going to line up more in the middle of the numbers as opposed to a little bit on the outside so that's going to be another teller as well that this is that the previous coverage was a cover three defense as opposed to a cover one defense because in a cover one defense they'll line up a bit more inside and that's basically going to be it here for how to read a cover three and a cover one defense you know pretty simple just you know really first of all on the field you want to look at how many sa uh, what um, how many safeties are over the top on the defense. If there's one safety, then it's either going to be a cover three or a cover one defense. And if there's two high safeties, it's either going to be cover two, cover two man, cover four matching, or cover four drop defense. But now, guys, we're going to move on here to how to tell between a cover four palms defense and a cover four drop defense. Okay, guys, so here we go. This is going to be how to tell if your opponent is running a cover four match defense between a cover four drop defense. Now, guys, this is a very simple one. If your opponent is coming out in defense, either in a 3-4 formation or a dollar formation, he's coming out in cover four drop because there is no... There is no matching coverage in dollar formation. There's no cover four palms or cover four quarters. And I don't believe there's any matching formation. There's any matching defense or matching cover four in a three, four defense. This is automatically going to tell us that this is a, either a cover four drop sh show or a cover four drop contain. That's going to be the first way to defer. Now, the second way to defer, you're going to say, well, yo, yo, you know, I can't really see the difference between a cover four palms and a cover and a cover two defense really easy thing to tell how far the cornerbacks are backed up you're seeing on defense here that these cornerbacks are backed up about 10 yards and if we were to go ahead and run a cover two man defense which we're going to audible to now on 20. defense you're going to see these corners are going to come down a little bit so they're going to be about at the five yard line that's going to you know show me automatically that's going to be a big teller in whether this is a cover two defense or a cover four defense a cover two defense the players are going to be closer to the line of scrimmage and closer to the receivers while if they were running a cover four palms defense or a cover four defense in general the players are going to be farther away from the receivers and the line of scrimmage as a whole so guys that's pretty much going to do it for this coverage video very simple video but this is going to hopefully help you guys with reading coverages and building an offense around it and Madden 21. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash a like, guys. We're doing really, really good right now. I just want to thank you guys so much for the support. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Take care. But most importantly, stay classy.